Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to take a look at the performance of the NVIDIA RTX 1000 ADA generation in the 3D benchmarks Steel Nomad as well as Time Spy. And we're going to start this with Steel Nomad, which is running in DirectX 12, not the Vulkan mode. Uh, and yeah, you can see the MSI Afterburner overlay, so you can see exactly what's happening here with the card. And as you can see, we are at around the 90 watts marks. So it's a pretty high powered version of the RTX 1000, which basically is the equivalent to the NVIDIA RTX 4050. So both of them have 46 gigabyte of VRAM and are basically the entry option to the gaming cards. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't said before, but this is inside the Dell Precision 5690. So we also do have 64 gigabytes of system memory in the system installed. And we also have a Core Ultra 7165H. So a pretty powerful CPU from 2024. So this really should give us a very good, <laughs> a very good uh, benchmark if the card is allowed to run. And I don't have any data to compare that to. So um, it is better than the RTX 5000 Max Q in my Lenovo ThinkPad, just barely, I think, or it's around the same. But yeah, it's definitely not a bad result for such an entry GPU. All right, next one, we're going to test the TimeSpy benchmark, uh, which I can compare to the RTX 5000 Max-Q, which would score around 8,000 points in this one, uh, in, the, in the graphics test, a little bit over 8,000 points. And my 6900 XT, my 6900 XT uh, desktop GPU, which would score around 23,000 points. And I think a very powerful 2080 Super, which this, uh, which the RTX 5000 is based on, would be able to score around 12,000 points in this one. And funnily enough, I think the uh, RTX A1000, so the Ampere generation, so the card with, or the generation which came before the Ada generation, uh, actually would score around only 4,000 points. So that's basically, uh, I think it's it's half of what we can expect uh, in the performance of this card here. So that's a pretty impressive step up. Although I will admit that uh, the RTX A1000, which I have here, is in the Dell Precision 5 470. So it's only running at around, I think it's 35 to 40 watts, because it's a, a much smaller chassis, obviously. And yeah, this one here is also not running at 90 watts right now, but only at uh, 75 watts. That's interesting to me. I think it's uh, we had, we do have a dynamic power boost here in place where when the CPU actually does not really have to do too much and is not zipping too much power, then the GPU will be fed up to the 90 watts, which we saw before. But uh, if the GPU actually is, required, or is requiring more wattage, then the GPU will only be fed up to the 75 watts. But as I said, this is probably going to dynamically change and it's not a static value here. But yeah, I mean, performance wise so far, obviously the Dell Precision 5690 is uh, very nicely able to hold the values uh, here, like the, the wattage, which it should provide the GPU. And I have to say, it's also, I haven't seen any throttling behavior so far. So uh, in, in my opinion, this one is really a, a great system for gaming and obviously workstation alike. Even though if you really want to do workstation intensive tasks, such as, uh, I guess, working with, with uh, large language models or something like that, like data science, um, you probably want to go ahead and go for a GPU like the a2000 or better even the A3500 or it's not even A, it's just RTX 3500 ADA generation 
due to the fact that you will get 12 gigabytes of VRAM with that card or 8 gigabyte with the RTX 2000 ADA. So yeah, I think the 6 gigabytes of this card really is the biggest bottleneck of that one and it's, it's really sad to see really because if Nvidia didn't skin out on that, uh, this would be a great gaming GPU for years to come. But therefore it's sadly, we've already tested that and well, it's fine, most titles like even in Helldivers 2, I didn't really experience any stutters, which I was definitely expecting because I was definitely playing that at 1440p with ultra texture settings and stuff. Um, but the RTX 1000 ADA actually performed absolutely flawlessly in that game. So yeah, no problems with that, but other games like Hogwarts Legacy will do uh, exhibit some stutters and I think newer titles like Stalker will also as well. And yeah, you can look at the score here, which is definitely at around the uh, RTX 5000 level. So it's it's really incredible just how fast this GPU is as compared to the older flagship model here. And yeah, you can see the detailed results here. Just gonna show you that. And yeah, it's really nice to see how well this even entry generation card is doing from the ADA generation.